Dresden violin number 138. 138. This violin has the label Edward Reichert 1912. And this was the original label in the violin. Um, and it was made to very good specs, has nice wood on the back. It's 14 inches long, nice tone wood. It's been set up for fiddling, and it has helicore, medium strings, a Whitner tailpiece, a nice bridge. The action on it is set up more or less for fiddling, and it plays really easy. This violin has a very smooth tone. It's uh, not super loud under the ear, however, it carries well. And uh, I believe this violin could be used by a fiddler or possibly a classical player might like this violin because it is made to really good specs and it's not too long. A lot of, uh, a lot of the old fiddles that, that I like tend to be a little long and most classical players prefer a 14 inch back and you know a perfect, perfect set of measurements on the fingerboard length and the stop length. Anyway, let me let you hear it. It sounds good. <laughs> sweet tone. It's very pleasing. Um, this would be a good violin to sit around and play waltzes with a guitar player that's not trying to frame you to death and make so much racket, but um, it, this has a lot of color to the tone and it's very um, easy to listen to, although it carries well. It's got a pure tone, pure uh, tone that carries interested in this old fiddle or want to hear another sound clip or anything or a recording I'll be glad to do it for you um, it's had an old repair on the top and uh, I've had the top off and it's properly repaired and it has a new lease on life and somebody will really get a nice uh, well-made old fiddle for very reasonable um, I don't have a lot of money in this fiddle but I, I can't give it away because I've got quite a bit of time in it um, but again I have a money back guarantee and this would be a good one to uh to take a chance on. <laughs> 